Hello, Ken Spriggs here with an unboxing and a review of the brand new uh, Lost in Space Chariot from uh, Darwin Hobby Shop in 135 scale. Uh, really, really cool kit and just came out here this past week. So let me go ahead and uh, take a look at that. All right, and here is the brand new 135th scale uh, Chariot from Lost in Space. This is a brand new kit. It's in scale with the Mobius Jupiter II, the large, larger one. And this is by Dolan Hobby Shop, which is out of um, Cult TV Man. <clears throat> and they've made some really fine kits of their own. This is one that's actually an original. They've done a lot of repops of several things uh, before, but this is an original kit. There hasn't been a chariot in this scale before, and certainly not this nicely done and with some figures of John Robinson, Will Robinson and the robot, which is really, really cool. So this is the awesome looking box art. And if we turn it over, you have some really cool shots on the back. Some good information from it, clear canopy on top, of course. Detailed robot B9. Is an optional printout backdrop, which I'll show you, which is actually really, really nice. Uh, Will Robinson, John Robinson sitting inside of it. And the model's approximately six inches long, it says. And some pictures of it. And here are the other kits that I talked about. So the Spindrift, which isn't, isn't new. <clears throat> it's a repop of the original Aurora slash, I believe, maybe Monogram had done it. Polar Lights, of course, has done it. Uh, the Snake Diorama from Land of the Giants as well. And then the um, the smaller, really inaccurate chariot with the the big Cyclops, which they did. So these are all repops of original kits with a little bit of variations, a little bit of minor differences. But this is a brand new model, something that was never done before in this scale. All right. So let me go ahead and take it out, and I'll show you... Uh, what we get in the box. All right, so the uh, the kit comes with three packets of sprues. So you have this one here with some gray plastic. It has the figures and a bunch of other little parts like the seats and the curtains and the various details that go on it. You have this one here with the main parts of the body. And I'll take these out and show them, of course. Uh, the treads, which are just one solid piece. These don't have rubber removable treads on, on it different controls and then you have some clear parts so you have this sprue here with the robot the little bubble dome the headlights some other things on here that are clear and then finally the the top of it the canopy it's all clear it's all one piece so all right and then of course we have the instructions and we have the backdrop which i'll show you here in a little bit so let me go ahead and take these out of the plastic and we'll show you what's inside all right so <clears throat> in the two um, gray plastic bags there are some separate little sprue parts that come in them so this is the main one with the main body of the chariot uh, very nicely done so you have the bottom of course the bottom of the chariot with some molded in parts some little cutouts and openings for the the top canopy, which I'll show here in a moment. You've got the treads, and as I said, they're all one piece. Fairly nicely detailed. And they have the, uh, obviously, the, the tread wheels or brockets or whatever they're called built inside. There's some detail in there, which is pretty nice. So those are all just one piece. You have a couple of tiny little parts, like the little the little uh, dome lights on top. And it, they're opened up, so I'm assuming they have little clear parts, which we'll look at in the clear sprue that go inside of it. And some other little tiny parts here as well. Then you have the interior, which is all one piece, other than some added parts, which is kind of cool. So you have little sides here, you have little posts for the seats, and up here, the big box for the 
the controls between the, the two drivers, and you have the controls built into the front. So it's not a separate piece for the controls and a little pad there with some controls on it as well. And the little box in the back where the robot sits. Well, actually you can only do the top of him, I believe, because he's supposed to be down inside there, I guess. All right, so this obviously just goes inside of this, which is nice, makes it kind of easy. You have the, the bottom which then hooks into these. So an interesting design. So these all have the little holes that um, that then go right inside like that. If you can see that, hopefully. So rather than these being glued like underneath the chariot, they actually do go on to these little extenders on the bottom part. So this is the bottom plate. it and then you have the the front with the headlights which are also clear you have the back and they have little holes in them for those little orange I guess metal bumpers or whatever they're supposed to be little part here you have this little mechanism which goes right in this area this little box it goes into and then you have the cargo box, which is pretty generic, which, which pretty much is in the larger version as well on there. And then finally you have this other sprue and you have the little dish, radar dish, whatever that is on the front, it's all one piece. You have this other little solar panel thing that goes on the back near the cargo. You have these little plates here exactly sure where those go I think they go on the sides possibly I'll have to see but some added details that go on to it so so pretty cool pretty nice little design so um, let's go ahead and take a look at the clear parts and I want to show you the comparison between these things so here of course is the canopy it's all one piece nicely done now I'll have to go back and look at it but um Obviously, this is one piece, so you have some, some push pins on the inside, not on the outside, which is nice. They appear to all be, if I can see correctly, over parts that are going to be painted anyway. These are going to be like a silver or a metallic green or something like that. But they're only on the top, so you don't have any on the side. Of course, none on the front windshield, which would really mess it up. None on the back. So I think they were placed, hopefully, in positions where, like, this panel is going to be painted silver, and so are these. And so you're not going to see those, because they'll be on the inside. And they won't have to be sanded, of course, which would be really hard on a piece of clear plastic. So you don't have to worry about the outside, which is what you're going to see. And you wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't really see them on the inside of the roof. And then this fits on very nicely onto this part here. So... You have these little openings, which correspond to these extended parts. I had to play with it a little bit to get it in place, but once it did click in place, it fits really nicely. Actually, that was a lot easier. There's a tongue and groove. There we go. Okay. So, very nice fit. I mean, of course, you'll be using some canopy glue to get this glued together once you get everything ready to go. But but nicely done. Of course, you're not gonna worry about any seams. And again, some of these are gonna be painted different colors. Certainly there's the metallic green, there's some silver, there's some orange on this. Some wonderful 70s colors. <laughs> and then of course, this is beveled correctly for the front of it and the back of it and that sort of thing. But a cool little kit. Very nice, very small, very compact, pretty nicely done. I really like that. All right. And then the other clear part, let me bring that over here, is going to be this sprue right here. And 
so it has the most most of the parts that you would understand like the dome of course the clear dome and it has a it's all one piece i believe the bottom should be a metallic color uh, and then you have the headlights and these tiny little bulbs which i believe are for the little lamps on top or some other things that go on there um, but then the rest of the pieces are the robot the robot is cast all in clear so if you wanted to light up some parts of him like his chest plate you certainly could because it's clear and just mask it off and paint the rest of it if you were of a mind to try to put some lights in him but you got two halves for his bottom you have two for his top and then you have some side panels in his arms come in a couple pieces as well so pretty straightforward the robot's arms are just straight out they're not extended in any way and they're not poseable of course at this scale but uh but he's pretty cool i like that even some super tiny detail on the little bits underneath his dome there which is kind of cool so pretty nice for the scale that he's in i think they did a really good job of doing the robot so all right so let's go ahead and look at the last bag all right and then the um, second bag of the clear of the gray parts consists of four separate spruce sections as well it looks like we have uh some repeat parts so this is mostly the interior of the well not just the interior it has some exterior parts but it has the curtains it has the seats of course it has the various little bumper parts that go on it and it has the figures so on this one here for example you have the little tiny parts that go on the outside of the dome these are some of the like the steps or the almost like a ladder sections to climb up onto the roof go on to it over here as well you have a little rifle which is pretty cool there's two of these and they're meant to go into the base inside because they have a little key part that goes down inside of it um, more of those little lamps that stick out and again with the little hole so you can put the clear part in it those go on top of the canopy and this one's very similar actually are they the same i think they are the same yeah they're just a repeat so yeah yeah so it's just a duplicate so possibly some some extra parts i'm not sure but i would think that this these are probably on both sides kind of a thing so i don't think it's extras all right, yeah, that's just a duplicate. Then you have this one here, which has a little antenna part, some more curtains, three of the seats, which are nicely done. Little pads in them, kind of cool. And then you have the last one, which has three more seats, another curtain section, which again, that's another piece of this just replicated so they just cut that off and made it one separate piece but this other one then has the um the two figures so the figures bodies are all one piece except for the arms arms well just john robinson's so john robinson's arms are separate they have his hands in a position where he's supposed to be holding like the controls they're not open He's in a seated position inside the chariot. And the likeness for John Robinson isn't really all that great. See a camera, sorry. First I thought he looked more like Dr. Smith. <laughs> well, Robinson looks a little better. It's a cool pose. But he looks almost the same size as John Robinson, but anyway. They're pretty cool. And he's going to be sitting inside, of course, and John Ro or Will Robinson will be outside with the robot if you want him to be. All right. So pretty cool. All right, so let's just go ahead and take a look then at the uh, instructions and then the little wraparound display that it comes with. 
All right, so here is the fold-out instructions. Same artwork on the front we have on the box, and then it opens up. Make sure that's in frame. Yep. Okay. So it actually has quite a bit. It folds out to a three-page section, and then you have some things on the back. So we'll take a look. So the first thing, it just kind of goes over the construction of the main body as I showed, and the bottom part and the interior. It's pretty straightforward, not too bad. <clears throat> and you have the seats, the rifles, the controls up here in the front, that little, whatever that little box is, or scanner, I guess it's called, goes on there. <clears throat> And then you have all the curtain sections, which are all one piece that go inside. And there's those little lamps I was talking about, little small lights. That's right, there are some on the front on the bottom underneath, plus the headlights. And then we'll look in a second, you have some on the top. And yes, you have those other pieces that go on the sides that make up like the, the ladders that go to the top, the front bumpers, back bumpers. Pretty straightforward stuff. Okay, yeah, these are two parts. So you have the little handle part, which goes on the inside, and you have the the light, which goes on the outside, and the idea is that that little handle moves it around and you can shine the light in different places. Oh, and those little side pieces, I wasn't sure what they are. They're, they go on the side of the cargo. It's part of this, the cargo holder on the back here and some more of those lamps with the clear lenses the little scanner antenna the antenna on the front the dome of course observation bubble which is kind of odd for a clear canopy <laughs> and then more of these rungs to go up to climb up to the top and what's up on top so pretty straightforward you could even paint these first before putting them on the clear one of the only main issues, of course, is going to be not not um, crazing the glue or the clear on the top here. So you're going to have to be careful how you glue things on and just be really cautious or use canopy glue in order to prevent that from affecting the clear plastic. Um, also, too, there's supposed to be painted parts of this, so that should be fairly easy to accommodate with some masking and painting. Um, Really, these little bars should be metallic or silver, so that might be a little tricky to try to do, but we'll see. All right. And then the last one is assembling John Robinson's arms, of course. The robot is pretty straightforward. Canopy just goes right up on top. So you really could leave this off. You wouldn't have to necessarily try to glue that down. It does fit pretty nicely, as I said. So I don't think you'd really have to glue the canopy down onto it. Would You would glue all these other parts onto that canopy as far as that part of it. And then on the back, we just have some, some color suggestions. Very simple. Orange, silver, black, violet for the uniforms, dark gray, white, silver. Yeah, the canopy frame is supposed to be silver. So pretty straightforward kind of a thing. All right. And some other information about how you would do the painting. They were suggesting, and I did try to do this on my bigger chariot, which I never completed. But there are some foil adhesives you can get in sheets that you just stick down. They're self-adhesive and you just apply it down with a Q-tip. They're, they're suggesting that as far as the different trim. But that would be really hard in something this small, this tiny of a scale would be rather tricky. You'd be talking about a very sliver of that material, um, which is already tricky to work with as it is. So, okay. And then, uh, as I showed, they also have the other kits that they offer as well from Lost in Space and from uh, Land of the Giants. So, all right. So let's take a look at the, at the backdrop, which is actually really nice. I think they did a great job on this and I think it's really nicely done. So 
it's a two-sided backdrop. So you have this one here, which is actually really nicely done. Very, very cool artwork. You got the little Jupiter two down here. You've got big old rocks. The sun shining through another planet in the background. Very cool. Very nicely done. If you turn it over, you have a little more of a view of just the rocks, which is kind of cool as well. Nice artwork, really nice artwork. And then of course, it's already pre-folded so you can stand it up like that. And it can stand in front of the, the chariot like that, so. All right, so very nicely done. It's a nice little added feature. I really like the artwork that they've done on it. So that would be pretty cool. And of course, like I said, this is in scale with the large Mobius Jupiter 2. So of course you could display this with, with that ship. I'm hoping that they're gonna do a space pod in this same scale. Uh, originally Mobius had plans to do this, the chariot and the pod together in a kit and they were going to have some mixed medium in it, and they were going to do the same thing, a 135 scale. That never came to fruition, so I'm just wondering if these are the original molds or not. I'm not really certain. I don't have information on that, but uh, certainly they have to do a space pod. That would be awesome. And in this scale, it would be really cool and have that in the same scale with, um, with the Jupiter II. So hopefully that will be the case. I have not heard anything announced yet from Darwin Hobby. But um, that would be pretty cool if they finished off this set with a space pod as well. All right. All right, it's a very cool kit. I really like it a lot. Uh, I think it's well designed. It's going to look pretty sweet next to the larger Jupiter II. Uh, as I said, hopefully they're going to be doing the, the uh, space pod at some point. That would be really cool as well. Finish off this kit and, um, and have that displayed along with the large Jupiter II. So, all right. Uh, so I'm not going to be building this at this point. I'm just uh, showing you the, the kit and doing a review of it. Uh, but I definitely recommend it and um, recommend that you pick one up. Uh, it is available at different retailers, but uh, I do recommend Call TV Man, who are the producers of this. And I always like to give them uh, my business. I think they're a great online service. They always have really good kits, and they're also making their own as well. So that's pretty sweet. And that's uh, CallTVManShop.com. If you want to check them out and uh, and pick up this kit for yourself all right and I'm not being sponsored by them I just like them and I think they make good products and sell good products so it's just my personal opinion all right well thanks a lot and, and thank uh, you to all my new subscribers and I will see you in my next video